Well, my doggos, this is obvious to you guys since you both aren't blind, but we have arrived at Ms. Carrie's yoga. Wait tease. Teacher here double you or Casey cookie. Correct? I'm cookies. I don't know. It could be a different Miss Carrie for all I care. Jeez, right maybe. Or maybe it's that one woman on my strange addiction who drinks. Oh, don't be gross! We must not associate anything related to the Carrie. Just kidding. Anyways, maybe you should try looking at the banner to see what's really on there. You know, I don't know what this quote unquote yoga is about. I mean, I've heard of it but I don't really know the true meaning. Yoga be stuffy ish, outstretches size exer, me do before. Oh, so it's like we fit in real life, that plane. Fitty fitty maybe a physical education play video game, impossible because you are lazy. Ha 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 that is so true. Okay puppers, let's just get our blue asses in yoga class. Hola, class of Chanas. Hi, oh, cookies. cookies. Hello, hello my Blue fellow Day grandson. Apple. Why hello there cookies. Hello everyone. So anyways, cookies and cookie, let's go get some mattress so we can start yoga alright? Why yes yes I are our hundreds of cookies. Um, cookie, shouldn't you be getting your yoga mat? Aw oh, crap, my switch is dead. Perfect timing, so please hand over your switch to me. Ugh, fine. I'm so glad Moonlife City got a new name. Starza City is way less generic, isn't it? Well, I kinda preferred Moonlife City, it just seemed more iconic and memorable to me. Well, you have your opinion, but to me, I personally don't think iconicness matters all that much. Me neither, but if it's something simple like a name to a city or something, then it doesn't matter a lot. But honestly, if there's anything with a good name, it's yours because of how cute it is. Oh wait, you're 1000 times cuter than your name. A-W-W-W-W careful, you made me blush. I wonder when Ms. Carrie is coming, I think I should check outside to see if there's any signs of her coming here. OMG, are you okay, Alls? Oh my! It looks like the door was slammed on Alls! I seriously hope he's not dead! Oh, thank heavens he's not dead. Just flat as a pancake. Caramel! That's not funny! Hello, ladies. I am curious. I, who the hell are- I am the substitute yoga teacher hired by Ms. Carrie. My name is, Big Crot, and I am a 26 year old yoga addict who loves doing the stretchiest of poses. And if you aren't like me at all, do. You stink. Hey, do not talk when I'm talking you rude piece of ass. Respect your elders. Uh, hello, Big Crot. Beak, why did you kick the door causing it to slam your own yoga student? That was a quick little warm-up exercise made just for alls. He is a wimp anyway so at least something needed to start his exercise. <laughs> Shut. Up. Anyways class, today we are going to be doing some extremely complex yoga poses if you really want to be good. No, I am not doing your garbage exercises because you literally injured your own student. Like seriously, what sane person actually does I that? I know, right? Poor alls. I'm calling the ambulance. I'd honestly love to see a reaction when the hospital finds out you injured one of my closest partners. Whatever. Whatever. I'll just give you both an F if you're willing to give that less of a shit. Anyways, as I was saying, we will be doing extremely complex yoga poses. So, let us start with the table pose. 
Oh. And remember to stretch as far as you can. Uh, be, be stretched too long. Our muscles will get cramped. Shut up, Zane. Okay, if you throw something like that at me one more time, you are really not going to like what happens, and I don't care if you... Oh, okay. Oh, come on, guys. Do that damn table pose already. I may be 100 years old, but I still know how to get a good stretch on. Even if the yoga instructor is f***ing stupid. Oh, 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 I have a cramp in my back and it hurts, what? Oh my god, same. Oh. Oh, no. Don't worry, we get freezy, 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 pack, pack, eo. Wow. Thank you so much for clearing us away where we can jump up and continue climbing, random blue dog who showed in to be here. Thanks, Eo, the thanks. Guess me. Here, a fresh ice pack for your back. Thank you, cookies. Now my back will not feel like a living hell. Anytime you want. Please help me cookie in this. I have a very bad cramp from stretching too long. Do not worry, sweet pea. I am here for help. Anyways, you said you had a leg cramp, right? Yes, and it's very painful and hurts like heck. Oh my god. That's terrible. Try laying your legs down. It would help with the cramp. Trust me. I've had leg cramps before, and laying legs helps a lot. Okay, let's stop the table move, and stretch high up to the Sky Realm. The Sky Realm? No, just no. Okay, seriously, I refuse to do any of these exercises. How high was Ms. Carrie hired this nut job and substitute? I know, right? Big is a serious dumbass. Oh my god. Cookie, how dare you call me a dumbass? Tax it, Cookie. You were so grounded, 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 grounded for five centuries. Never before has someone said something that killed all of my brain cells in my entire natural born life. Are you kidding me? You aren't even my father. Do not misgender me. Cookie, oh my god, are you okay? No, my head hurts so badly. I feel like I'm in hell. Well, if that's so, caramel. Go get Cookie an ice pack. Kosa Serta. Wait, shouldn't I help? You should keep an eye on your boyfriend to hope he doesn't get another leg cramp instead to be honest. Oh, thanks Colonel. I feel a lot less in pain. You know what? I don't care what Miss Carrie says or how extreme your consequence is. What I am doing to you is solve the karma you for what you've done. Hey! Sit back down. Or else you will have to do that treat pose for five hours. Okay, if you take one more step, you are really not going to like what happens. My God. Miss Carrie. Well, looks like you caught Courtney acting like a monster hut. Oh my God, so this so-called deep drop substitute was Miss Carrie all along? That means that the substitute she hired was herself. My own teacher, my yoga instructor, to do all this. Why? Miss Miss Drinker, you have some explaining to do. Why did you dress yourself as a hermaphrodite and act like a psycho moron through absurd yoga? You better start explaining or you're getting a serious asshole of him. Um, it's a long story, and as you can see, I was actually dressing as my ex-husband. Are you insane? What has gotten into you? 
And why do you pretend to be a higher substitute and do some random insane crap to us? Well, I was severely drunk and severely bored. Until Zim's magic snapped the drunkenness in me out of it. I also somehow managed to remember everything I did as Bekro, which is weird since I always forget things when I'm drunk. I'm guessing it was because of the magic. Okay. But Ms. Carrie, we seriously need a better explanation on why you did all of this. Okay, okay, sure, you all asked for it, so I'll tell you. So, it all started like a few minutes ago, when I was at the bar on White Houses Street. I was getting to my limits on a Wednesday night, yeah. Until, once I was running, I found him. And so, in a fit of rage, I threw my bottle of beer at him, knocking him out. And since my ex-husband is such a trash bag, I decided to take out the trash, and since I was drunk, I went in there with him and acted like a bad girl. And so, in that dumpster, out came Beard Crook, the one who caused all of this chaos on the first day of yoga of all days. And that is why, there was a crazy ass substitute. Anyways, I'm so sorry I treated you all that way, it was just, I got so drunk. And by the way, I am seriously sorry about that. We understand this, Carrie, but yet- Stop right there, Zero. Oh my god. Um, are you alien Anna? Yep. Great, because I am pretty sure you called us because someone was severely injured, right? And is this the injured person? Yes it is! And I highly recommended all of you to take him to the ambulance as I said. Okay, we will as soon as possible. By the way, who is responsible for all this injury? Oh, that would be little Miss Crop Tops over here. Who? Me? <coughs> Whoever this wicked person is, she's definitely paying the hospital bill longer than my family Christmas tree price. Anyways, we gotta go. We'll notify you by my antennas when all is okay, alien Emma. <laughs> you too! Thanks and bye! Well, that happened. You know what, Neon? It did, and it was an unrelaxing mess. Y'all know what? Since we have all been through a lot today, you are all dismissed. So bye bye, everyone. I mean it this time. Now, that was a totally crazy day. Not only was BFG Club just Ms. Carey's student persona, but I also experienced some very memorable things to say the least for just a simple day at yoga class 